Double M's, it's your boy Keys. And it's your girl Mandy L. And we back. With another video, video, video. Yeah. And this time we have some fried sausage dogs. Mm, with them homemade onion rings. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We got plenty of toppings right here. Mm -hmm. so and we also got our what? Cutie Q sauce. Yeah, mm -hmm. baby. <laughs> All right. So we got some sauerkraut, some onions, some bell pepper in the front. We got some... Um, we got the little um, garlic yeah. um, zesty kosher pickles. These are so good, y'all. They're not too salty. I love the garlic ones. And we have some mustard. We have mayo. And we have some red sweet pepper relish we got from the Jungle Gems when we were in Ohio. So. Y'all know what time it is. We're going to get into this what, baby? Blessing session. All right, now. Most loving and gracious Father, we come um, humbly as we know how, heads bow, Thanking you for this food that is nourishing for our body. We ask that you add a blessing upon it. We also thank you for our friends and loved ones that came in to join us. We ask that you add a blessing unto them and their loved ones. This is our prayer in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. We get right into it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get me a hot dog. We got some plates down here, but we're going to have it so y'all can see everything as it disappears. <laughs> On his part, y'all. <laughs> no, it's like a little mm -hmm. light mail on mine. Mm. Mm -hmm. It sounds like they're crunchy and good, too. With that cutie cute sauce, how it tastes. I know it's the bomb duck. So, how's everybody doing? Yes. We hope you guys are ready for the new year. New year, new year, baby. Renewance of our mind. New year, new things, mm -hmm. new opportunities. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a blessed year, y'all. I'm praying that for everybody. Honest to God. For everybody. Well, everybody stay on your grind. Mm-hmm. Don't give up. Mm. You got a good old crunch on it. Yeah, they do. Mm. They sound like it. I'm, I'm hearing you over there. You crunch, crunch, crunching. I'm trying to get my sausage dog together, y'all. Me some sauerkraut. I'm trying to get everything together. I'm going to show mm. it to y'all when I get done dressing it up. I love sauerkraut. It's so good. I mean, not but pickled cabbage, but I love it. These things good. Mm-hmm. Put me a couple of raw onions right now. I love raw onions. Mm -hmm. And me some what? You know, these hot dogs smell so good. And I gotta get me a pickle, y'all. Gotta get me a pickle out of here because I love Y'all can see that. <laughs> y'all see my hot dog? Mm -hmm. Well, all the toppings. What you want? Let me get some sauerkraut, some mm, of that mm, 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 pepper mm, mm, relish. That is so good. That's some mustard. Delish. Mm-hmm. I gotta try me some onion rings with some cutie cute sauce. It's good too. I know that's gonna be good. I don't even doubt that. The cutie uh, cute sauce is the bomb. Mm, um, mm. What you want? You want that little relish and mustard. Oh, okay. I'm gonna just pass them on over the tea then. Mm hmm. There you go. 
Y'all, let me get another bite in. We're going to talk. We're going to talk, y'all. Y'all already know we're going to do that. Mmm. It's so good, y'all. Y'all, me and me and Keys always got something positive to say. I'm going to talk about with y'all. We haven't ate all day long, honest to God. We've been running around, getting some things done. And, um, yeah, we just, we just finally got a chance to come in the house and cook us something to eat. Let's see, I ain't ringing that cutie cute sauce. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. That is so good. So good. Now nah, this uh this is a pepper uh this pepper red pepper relish. Mm-hmm. Look good. Yeah, let them see it. Mm-hmm. This mm -hmm. look good. You know, the tablecloth. You pull it out, it's, it's wrinkled. Here we go. Okay. Mm. This is really good. Mmm. Mmm. Pickle and sauerkraut together. Mmm. 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 Cup of relish, mustard, and some sauerkraut. This is so good, y'all. So good. Mm. Mm -hmm, that cute, cute sauce, y'all. Get y'all some onion ring with that cute, cute sauce. Get your bite. Kind of set it up down now. Dipping on my face. Now get it. Yeah, a little bit. Right <laughs> mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> I need something to drink now, y'all. I'm a vegetable eater. And I like to have something to drink. Those are my two things. <laughs> mm. I'm going to pour my hubby up something to drink. So he like lemonade. I'm going to get him right. His favorite. Mm -hmm. There you go, baby. I'm drinking on some peak peach tea. Mm -hmm. So you guys, we don't want to bore you by sitting here just eating and not talking to y'all. We know some of y'all come for the good conversation. Yes. That's and the food. And so we want to talk to you guys. And um, we know we've been talking about 2019 and going into a new year and what that means for us and what goals we're working on. But when Keys and I get together, we like to talk about our marriage, you know? And today we want to talk about doing a self inventory. You know, what things have you worked on mm. in your marriage? Mm hmm. And what goals. Um, are you guys going to be working on together in the new year? 
Mm. And how do you plan to continue to keep those things flourishing mm -hmm. um, the start of the new year and beyond? Mm -hmm. That's past the end of the year into the next year into the next year. Mm -hmm. So, because you just want to add on to what you already have. Not just plan for the end of the year and then start something new or fresh. No, just add on to what you're doing, mm -hmm. you know, and continue that. That's so right. your marriage excels and it and it continues. And it continues to grow. Mm-hmm. In a very positive way. One of the things that Keys and I have worked on is building together. You know, being more focused on working together as a team. Um, so one of the things Keys and I are building upon is just working more together and keeping the teamwork in our marriage. You know, the togetherness. Because when you do more things together, you know, not to say problems won't arise because you'll always be dealing with problems in the job. You'll be dealing with problems um, in your marriage. You'll be dealing with you know, you may not call them problems. They may be hiccups, whatever you want to call them, but there's still situations that may occur or may come up. Um, no um, relationship is perfect. However, you know, we are working on continuing to keep our relationship very close, tight knit and working together is the key in 2019 for us to continuously work together mm -hmm. and build each other up. And, that, and that's a, in the whole aspect Mm -hmm. Um, right now, you know, we both in the medical field mm -hmm. and when we say working together, all the way working together, we want to build a business, uh, together mm -hmm. that's going to keep us with, uh, more time with one another. And that's what we looking forward to. So mm -hmm. that's what this platform is, is for. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, it's the vehicle mm -hmm. that's driving us to a bigger vehicle. So we have more room, more space when we get, when we get ready to take that next ride. <laughs> yeah, more room. We need, <coughs> we need that elbow room. <clears throat> oh, pepper went down my throat the wrong way. Because we ride here like ludicrous uh, throwing them bowls. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. Mm. Yeah, but we are right now. And he right. We're trying to take it to another level. Mm -hmm. And I know like many other um, married couples that would love to work with their, work with their spouse mm -hmm. if they're not already working with them right. and, and build something so they're both um, home and and doing something together at all times. That mm -hmm. that's great. Instead of just like you know, just like us <laughs> taking vacations, and yeah. then when the vacation over, boom, back we're right, right back on somebody else's job. Well, how about having a vacation year round mm -hmm. when you are passionate about something that you're doing within the marriage yep. that's helping your marriage grow. Mm -hmm. And you getting to do the vacation at the same time. So it's hey. like a vacation year round. You get, you get a two for one. You get a two for one. <laughs> you know, you get a two for one. And, and that's truly what we are um, striving for. Because, you know, honestly, I'd be so sad when Keys has to go to work and vice versa. You know, yeah, he know I have, I have more days off and he got to go back. You know, we'd be kind of sad. We really do because we love spending time together and we have so much fun with each other, you know? Now that we've learned how to work out our problems and we've learned how to communicate better, it's just that, you know, <clears throat> we want to be together all the time. I mean, we do. I mean, it's, it's almost like the marriage is how it was when we first started dating. Mm -hmm. You want to always try to keep it there. You know what I'm saying? As much as possible. Yeah, you learn things about each other to get on each other's nerves and all that kind of stuff. But, man, I look forward to seeing this man when he walked through the door in the morning. I look forward to cooking a meal for my husband. And 
I look forward to spending quality time with him. I look forward to those things. I look forward to coming home from work and he's cooked dinner for us and we can sit down and share a meal together or share a meal with you guys. No. We just have so much fun together, you know, now that we know how to be together. You know, no. a lot of times you get in a relationship with somebody and you really don't know how to be with them because there are a lot of things about each other you don't know. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you have to do self inventory, you know, like, okay, where are we? And what have we accomplished in this relationship? And what other goals are we yeah. developing? And what where do we do? go from here? Yes, where do we go mm -hmm. from here? That is that is that is a great great phrase, basically. Yes, mm -hmm. where do we go from here? You know, we we've, we've gone this far. Mm -hmm. Now, where are we taking it? And I think once me and Keys realized where we were taking it, where we're going, that made that made all the difference in our marriage, our relationship. And honestly, what you see is what you get. I mean, we truly, truly love each other. Honestly. You know, I still light up like a little schoolgirl. He was like, baby, you look so good. <laughs> He'll text me. <laughs> He'll text me the stuff with your fine. It don't be no room. It don't be no room to walk in here. Head done got so big. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. He always picking on how big my head is too, y'all. He told me I got a watermelon head. His pea head tail. I mean, he's talking about nobody. Man. I hold a lot of brains up here, honey. But y'all, she do look <laughs> good. <laughs> Thank you, baby. I got the best blessing in the world. Aw. Well, Jesus, I can. <laughs> I can't thank you. I can't thank you enough. <laughs> you better stop. <laughs> look, now you gonna set my head swollen up this room. <laughs> Yeah, but we, we have so much fun, and, and that's what you have to have in your marriage. You have to have fun. You have to truly be each other's best friend. Like, you have you have to be able to call your friend up and say, dang, I'm going through it. And, like, when I'm at work, I'm telling y'all, sometimes I be going through I can call my husband up, and I can have the best conversation. He'll motivate me. He'll encourage me, and he'll get my attention refocused and redirected back to something positive. And you need, you need that in your relationship. You need to be uplifting each other because mm -hmm. if... You know, every time, you know, there's a problem that's occurring in the relationship or the marriage and your response is nonchalant or you're not concerned or you're not as affectionate, you don't know how to, if you don't have the words, at least say, you know what, baby, it's going to be okay. I'm, I'm right here with you. Yeah. I'm right here with you. I'm, I'm, I'm I don't here. have the answers, baby, but I'm yeah. right here with you. You know what I'm saying? That makes a world of difference, y'all. Man, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Not knowing what to say, but, and it's raining, but. I can be the umbrella. Right, right. You know, that is the one thing I'm telling y'all that truly attracted me to Keys. When I would um cry in the beginning of our relationship and I'll be going through things, you know, that he probably, he didn't know of before he got with me. I had, you know, certain things I was going through, like battling depression and, you know, feeling inadequate at times with myself because of, you know, being overweight and different things that were going on in my life at the time. You know, he didn't have the answers because he didn't know everything at the time. I, it was a new relationship, so I wasn't sharing everything up front. You know, I was still, you know, holding back some things. Mm -hmm. But that one day when I was crying, he held me and he said, it's going to be okay. You know, I'm here for you. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what it is. I don't have all the answers, but I'm here for you. That meant the world to me. You know what I'm saying? It made me feel comfortable to open up. <clears throat> after we had been together for now about six months, you know, I started opening up a whole lot telling him everything and different things like that that went on in my life and things that bothered me and You know, he started trying to help me with the things that, that was worrying me the most like my weight and how I looked and how I felt about myself He started trying to you know, really help me with that being a friend coming over, you know, working out with me You know helping me meal prep. He would do all kind of nice things for me working out <laughs> he would he would he kept me motivated y'all he did motivated yeah he did he kept me motivated i mean i would yo-yo up and down i would fall off the bandwagon and get back on but he was always there to help me pick up the pieces mm -hmm. and he never judged me for it he never judged me for it yo-yo up and down <laughs> shut up <laughs> yeah so you know <clears throat> With the self inventory of our relationship, we've we've come so far. Better communication, um, more time for intimacy. Yeah. I would say just with him changing jobs and his schedule, we have more time to be intimate, cuddling, cuddle time. You know, just pillow talk time. You know, we just yeah. <clears throat> you know, this weekend has been awesome. Oh yes, it, absolutely. You know, the most the, uh, 
Because usually we own our own things. Yeah, we rest, but we don't. Mm -hmm. This weekend we rest. Mm -hmm. It was rest out of this world. Yeah, we did. And you learn how to obey your body. Right. You because know. we have been going too hard all week long, overdoing it, overdoing it. I'm talking about me going to bed at 2 in the morning, knowing I got to get up at 5 to go to work. Like, come on. Can't keep doing that. That's that, taxing on the body. Mm -hmm. And as we will say, mm -hmm. we are working on things that is going to take us above and beyond to be happy in the marriage. Now, if you're not taking care of yourself, how are you going to be uh, happy within that marriage when somebody is laying down not feeling well. But you... You're going to get aggravated with each other. Mm-hmm. Um, you want to go somewhere, they laying around, somebody, they don't feel good, they too tired. You want to be intimate, they too tired. You know, it, it just causes all kind of problems. Mm -hmm. It do, and we've had those issues in the past, you know. Yep. I'm tired all the time, or he working overnight, he tired now, I want to get up and go because I don't slept all mm -hmm. night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, and now was, he ain't ready to get up or yeah. he having to get up drowsy because I want to go. And it's not fair. You know, it's not fair. So I'm glad we have the same days off. And we spend at least three to four days off a week together now. And it's beautiful. It's yeah. beautiful. So when he go to work for those three days, yes, I'd be sad. But I look forward to the days when he's off again. And it makes me hungrier towards achieving our goals so that we don't have to do this forever. You know, mm -hmm. that we can create something outside of somebody's workplace for us. That we can do for us and that is by us. <laughs> mm -hmm. Basically. Like boo boo. For us and by us. <laughs> and keeping uh prayer mm -hmm. uh essential in um in the forefront of our marriage. Of the marriage so all things can be accomplished. And blessed. With his help. That's right, by praying together. You know, not and, going to bed mad. And that's um uh, Something we doing more of. Mm -hmm. We do it already, but we want to do more. Yeah, more praying together. Not only for us, mm -hmm. but for you all as well. Amen to that. You know, so. Amen to that. We Shout are, out to, um, is it Vanessa Rooks? I, I think that's her name. I think it's Vanessa. Vanessa I Rooks. know Van Vanessa is her first name. Yeah, I'm going to look and make sure I got it right. I want to definitely send a special shout out to her. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> y'all, this is really good. I hope y'all can see the name of that. Uh, red sweet pepper relish. Red sweet pepper relish. That stuff is good. Mm. I've had three already. I'm going to have one more. And that's going to be it for me, y'all. I'm going to have one of them pickles mm -hmm. as well. Take a taste for them. It mm. is Vanessa Rooks. Vanessa Rooks, we want to send a special shout out to you. Many blessings to you. I pray renewance and healing all over your body. I pray that you stay in good spirits. We yeah. love you. Amen. Because I had been said something to Keys about you. I'm like, I haven't seen Vanessa Rooks in the um in the comments lately. And I had you on my mind. And it is so cool. It's it just like God just, you know, every time you think about something, he bring it to you. And then you were in the comments today. And you were saying that you were catching up on the videos and stuff. That was so beautiful. We really appreciate and we do love you and we appreciate your support for the channel. Yep, so we covered shout the out to Vanessa and we did pray for you. Yes, we did. Yes, yes we did. Because that thing touched my heart. I couldn't even think about nothing else until I did that. Mm -hmm. I sure couldn't. Mm -hmm. So shout out to Vanessa Rooks, y'all. And keep her in your prayers. Let's do some onion this time, y'all. <laughs> you you said you was hungry for real. You ain't playing around. I'm fooled. And we got so many onion rings up here. Plus, we got raw onions. <laughs> but I had to have me some raw onions for my um sausage dog, honey. I had to. Yeah, but that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And we're going to consistently be uh, pushing that throughout the new year. Absolutely. Because we want to see everybody um, within a relationship or married, 
We want to see it grow. We want to see mm-hmm. it excel. We want to see mm-hmm. y'all do good. Mm-hmm. We want to see y'all happy. That's right. We want to see everybody making it. That's right. You know. That's right. So let's let's work hard. Because let's when other couples hard. when couple when other couples around you are making it, it gives you hope that you too can make it, even if you are going through something. Because everybody knows that everybody relationship isn't perfect. Because if marriage was so easy and it was so perfect, everybody be doing it. Everybody. Everybody be doing it. Everybody not eager to get married. Everybody not jumping across no brooms and, and running to Vegas to um have no um ceremony. And the, divorce, <laughs> not. the divorce rate wouldn't be high. Exactly. We definitely wouldn't be high. And especially in the black community, mm. it wouldn't be so high. But that's why we have to um, share. We have to share with you, with each other the tools that are have helped us, that are helping us, so that someone else may be encouraged and say, you know what, maybe this part of what they're doing won't work for me yep. in my relationship because of the way we are. But maybe this could. Let's give it a try. Or you can find if you feel like it doesn't. You can find the good in something mm-hmm. and filter things out if you don't see any good. Whatever you don't need to use, don't use, use it. Use it. Just filter, just it, filter out it out and use what you can. And use what you got. Yeah, use what you got sometimes. Sometimes you just got to use what you got. Hey, you know, maybe maybe you're a better communicator than your spouse. Your spouse isn't quite, you know, there yet. Maybe, you know, hey, you know what? Let's let's go for a ride. Let's mm-hmm. just, let's just ride and talk, babe. You know, let's mm-hmm. go for a little ride and let's ride and talk. I'll drive, you know. And you know, even even if they don't talk, they just listen to you. You know what I'm saying? It's all kind of ways you yep. can encourage your spouse to change. You know, without being so um, negative or um, demanding about it, or giving out ultimatums. If you don't do this, then I'm gonna do that. You know, I learned a long time ago that don't work. I used to do that to keys all the time, and it was it was so hurtful. You know, to be saying stuff like I'm leaving, I ain't staying here. You can't do this and do that. You know. Or if you can't um, start communicating more. You know, he was very quiet by nature. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't that he wasn't communicating. Mm-hmm. He just communicated differently from me. And because I didn't understand it, I was very accusatory because of it. Yeah. You know, so those kind of things you have to work on and change about yourself as well. Yeah. You have to look um, look, in, look, in with, look within yourself mm-hmm. and see what's going on first. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> it may be you. Yeah. It may not be the other person. And then sometimes mm-hmm. the other person can realize too that they, yep. they aren't talking as much, yep. they aren't communicating as much. And Keys admitted that, you know, I am quiet. I don't communicate the same as you. It takes me a little time to gather my thoughts before I can just, you know, talk on the subject and things like that. So after I learned that, and then he started making an effort to communicate more with me, making me feel more comfortable, making me feel like, okay, he's hearing me. He's hearing my concerns. Okay, he's doing something. He's changing things. It made me feel good because I, I knew then, okay, even if he's not saying a lot in the conversation, he's hearing me yeah. because things are changing. And that's what's important. That's what's important. And not only just um, through through that particular phase, but mm-hmm. watching the actions, even though the mm-hmm. person isn't talking, but if their actions show about. something different, mm-hmm. then they, they are working towards mm-hmm. uh, uh, getting things all right. Yep. Or yeah. working towards some change so they can see things progress so yeah y'all you know keep doing keep praying Mm -hmm. and you'll keep making progress in your relationships you will you will Mm. yep you will you just gotta you know you you gotta pray together and, and and you and you gotta talk you gotta communicate you know you can't be over there having feelings and thoughts in your head about things or um, harbor resentment um, about situations in the past or taking um, problems in 2018 into 2019. 2019 will already bring its own complications. Trust and believe that. Mm-hmm. So you need to leave whatever's in 2018 in 2018. Trust. And let's focus on, let's, let's, how, can we, how can we rebuild? How can we refocus our attention on our marriage? We got to get to that. We got to get to that, yep. mm-hmm. that place. Trust me, the storms ain't going to stop. The mm-hmm. life ain't going to Mm-mm. Stop in place and let you Mm-mm. get yourself together, and then okay, mm-hmm. we'll we'll press play again. Yeah, and it don't work <laughs> so, like that. I, we wish we all wish we could hit that pause button that time. Mm-hmm. We all wish we hit that pause button that time. Hold on, life. Mm-hmm. Let me put stop for mm-hmm. a minute. Slow down. <laughs> Wait for me. Wait for me to get ready. Mm-mm. We don't work like that. Mm-hmm. We gotta stay ready. 
That's right. We got to stay ready. We got to be ready. I mean, in 2019, you got to be ready for all the things you say you want to accomplish in 2019. Right. You got to already be ready for it. You can't be around here, oh, I'm going I'm to I'm get ready when I do this or when I do that. You know, you hear people say this all the time. I'm going to uh, work on that when I move. I'm going to work on that when I um, um, change jobs. I'm going to work on that when I lose so much weight. No, work on it now. No. Work on it now. There's nothing wrong working on things right now. Don't put off tomorrow what you can do today. Mm -hmm. Work on it right now. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're doing. We're working on everything right now. We have so many positive things in the works. We're very happy. We're very pleased with what 2018 has taught us. And um, we just look forward to the future. Yeah. We're looking forward to sharing a bit mm -hmm. with y'all. Mm -hmm. You know, hopefully. More story times. Yeah, it's going to benefit you all as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. As well as it's benefiting us. Mm -hmm. So, hey, y'all stay tuned. <laughs> well, Double M's, this has been fun talking with you guys. We love mm -hmm. you. We appreciate you. Um, We're going to do some more shout outs and uh, some more videos. Because I got a lot of people we want to shout out and show that we appreciate you watching and, you know, always comment. And we really appreciate it, you guys. The love and support from the Double M Kingdom is tremendous. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it. Sometimes we get more views than we have with subscribers, and that's the goal. <laughs> so we appreciate the love. Yeah, we, we love y'all just mm -hmm. as much as y'all love us. That's right. And if you haven't already, like I said, subscribe to the channel. Welcome yeah. to the Double M Kingdom. If you have already, make sure you thumbs up this video. Thumbs, thumbs it, it up. up. Thumbs it up. Also, don't forget, hit that notification bell. Bing! So you can be notified of all the content, all the videos that we have in store for you. Hey, go on over there to the Instagram. It's the same <laughs> As our YouTube, muscle, muscle in, in marriage. marriage. <laughs> All right. And make sure you guys um, share this video. Share. Share the video. Share the video. And hit us up in the comments. Let us know what marital things you are going to be working on or what relationship goals you have for you and your loved one. That's right. Holla at us. Holla at your boy. Holla at your girl. Damn. We want to hear from you. And we'll see you guys next time. All right now. Bye. We out.